Hello students, in this video we'll see how to find the probability mass function of the sum of two discrete random variables that are independent. Let's suppose that x and y are discrete random variables with PMFs, probability mass functions, given by the following formula. The probability that x is equal to k will be p sub x of k. And we'll consider the case when k is 0, 1, 2, 3, just the whole numbers. And similarly, the probability that y, that y, is equal to L will be P Y L, where L goes between 0 and infinity, the whole numbers. And now let's assume, assume that X and Y are independent. And let's find the probability mass function of x plus y. Okay. So let's see how we do this. Well, the probability that x plus y equals n will be our probability mass function. And let's think of how this can happen. Well. This is the probability that x plus y is equal to n. Well, what could we have? We could have x being equal to 0, y being equal to n, x being equal to 1, y being equal to n minus 1. So what this will be is this is going to be the sum. L goes from 0 up to n. The probability that x is equal to L and y is equal to n minus l. And now we use the fact that these are independent, and we can write that this is the sum. L goes from 0 up to n of p x l p y n minus l. And this is the discrete convolution of these probability mass functions. So this is the discrete convolution. Discrete convolution of those probability mass functions. And so let's see an example of how this would work in, pr in practice. So example, let's suppose that x is binomial with, pr with parameters n and p. So n is the number of trials, and p is the probability of success. And let's suppose that y is binomial with parameters m and p, so the same probability of success. Then let's look at the probability that x plus y is equal to a value L. So the probability of x plus y is a value L. Well, what will this be? This will be the sum by our formula. J goes from 0 up to L. And then the probability, P x of J, P y of L minus J. And so now we know what both these things are. So what this will be, this is going to be the sum. J goes from 0 to L. And now the probability that x is equal to J is going to be n choose J. And then P to the J, 1 minus P to the n minus J. This is binomial. The probability that y is equal to L minus j is going to be m choose L minus j. 
and then I'll have a p to the l minus j, and then a 1 minus p to the m minus l minus j. And so let's see what we have over here. So let's look at the powers of p. So this is going to be the sum, j goes from 0 up to l, of, let's see, I have a p to the j over here and a p to the l minus j. So that will just give me a p to the power of l. And then let's look at the powers of 1 minus p. I have a 1 minus p to the n minus j and a 1 minus p to the m minus l minus j. And so this negative on the m right here and the negative on the j right there will turn into a positive, so the j's will cancel out. And I'll have a 1 minus p to the m plus n minus l. Now, both of these terms don't depend on j. We'll be able to pull it out. And what's left over here is going to be n choose j, and then m choose l minus j. And so what this becomes, this just becomes p to the power l, 1 minus p to the power m plus n minus l. And then the sum, j goes from 0 to l of n choose j times m choose l minus j. And now this is a combinatorial identity that this is equal to p to the l, 1 minus p to the n plus m minus l, and then I'll have an m plus n choose l. m plus n choose l. And so we see that x plus y becomes a binomial random variable with parameters n plus m and p. So if I add together two independent, they have to be independent in this problem, independent binomial random variables with, with common probability of success, if the first binomial random variable has n trials and the second has m trials, the resulting sum of those random variables will be binomial with m plus n trials and same probability of success, p. Thank you very much.